The stochastic RSI is a technical analysis indicator used to identify market trends. It was created in 1994 by Stanley Kroll and Tushar Shanda with the goal of increasing the sensitivity of the regular relative strength index or RSI indicator. Both of these indicators are oscillators used to identify overbought and oversold conditions by measuring changes in the price of an asset over a given time period. But how does it work? As the name suggests, the stochastic RSI is generated from the ordinary RSI indicator by applying the so-called stochastic oscillator formula. The result is a numerical value that goes from 0 to 1 and moves above and below a centerline of 0 0.5. There are some versions of the stochastic RSI that multiply the results by 100, so the values range between 0 and 100 instead of 0 and 1. On these charts, the center line is at 50 instead of 0.5, meaning that the overbought signal that usually occurs at 0.8 would be at 80, and the oversold signal at 20 rather than 0.2. Charts with a 0 to 100 setting may look slightly different, but both variants are interpreted in essentially the same way. The most common time setting for stochastic RSI charts is a 14 period, this means that if you apply the stochastic RSI indicator to a daily chart, the calculation will generate new data based on the past 14 days. When applied to an hourly chart instead, it'll only consider the past 14 hours. Just like most other indicators, traders can adjust the stochastic RSI settings to suit their own profile and strategy. The stochastic RSI indicator is often used to identify potential entry and exit points, as well as price reversals. A reading of 0.2 or below indicates that an asset might be oversold due to a strong downward momentum. On the other hand, a reading of 0.8 or above suggests an overbought condition as a result of a strong upward momentum over the predefined period. Other than that, readings that are closer to the centerline, 0.5, can also provide insights about market trends. For instance, when the centerline acts as a support and the stochastic RSI line moves steadily above the 0.5 mark, it may suggest the continuation of an upward trend, especially if the line starts to move towards the 0.8 mark. Likewise, readings consistently below 0.5 and trending towards 0.2 may indicate a downward market trend. Although the RSI and the stochastic RSI have a lot in common, the standard RSI moves relatively slower, producing a smaller number of trading signals. This means that the stochastic RSI is a faster and more sensitive version of the RSI. While this gives traders more opportunities to identify potential reversals in the market, it's also riskier because it produces more false or misleading signals. Due to its increased speed and sensitivity, some charts include a three-day simple moving average along with the stochastic RSI line. The SMA acts as a signal line and is meant to reduce the risks of trading on false signals. As such, the stochastic RSI should be used along with other tools to help confirm the signals it creates, especially in volatile markets. To learn more about technical analysis indicators, don't forget to watch our other videos at Binance Academy.